guys i hope you are having a wonderful day so today's review is going to be on doll pixie i'm very excited to review this doll this doll because we barely get any releases these days when it comes to the doll dolls so i'm very excited about this re-release and this doll she's just so she's just so cute so let's let's stop and me or me all rambling and now let's talk about her so she comes with this beautiful headband that you see here i'm going to do my very best to describe it but it is just so beautiful i'm telling you the camera does no justice it looks even better in person but as you can see she comes with these two beautiful big butterflies on both sides the butterfly itself is kind of like cheapy plastic and it seems like if you bend this too much it could break i'm just like worried especially about these bottom pieces so i would say don't handle her roughly i don't think you would but just saying um very beautiful and then it has these flowers in the middle fake flowers but really nice it goes really well with the headband um especially in the middle of the butterfly you would think that would not work but it looks great and then the top part here of her headband all of this stuff my camera is like come on with this glare here we go so you could see the top part of her headband a lot of it is you know lacing pretty then we have these flower accents here to the top oh my god camera there we go to the top and then we do have some cotton balls that you could see here they're white and there's another one here okay and then this bowl here this wonderful pretty bowl oh my god this camera this bowl that you see here i absolutely love it because it sparkles it's made out of velvet material it sparkles and the glitter does not come off so it's not like you're like I'm gonna get glitter everywhere on my hands or on the doll. No, it's perfect. It's it doesn't fall. There's no fallout. So I absolutely love that. And then she has these two little beads here. She's just so cute. Like she is so cute, y'all. Like, <laughs> and then the way you put this headband on her on her head is, you know, we do have um these two long pieces of fabric here that you tie to the back of her head or to the front, whichever you prefer. I personally did it to the back because when you do it to the front, it kind of like covers this part of her stock and, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose, I think. So, but I like, I like that it's not elastic because thank goodness, I don't have to worry about that breaking years from now. So very, very nice. Now let's talk about her, um, her wig. So her wig, as you can see on camera, it looks brown. Sometimes depending on the time of the day, it looks kind of like peachy, uh, you know, peach, like maybe I'm colorblind, who knows? <laughs> Um, but that's just how it looks like to me. But I think that the wig color itself goes really nicely with the purple. There's a beautiful contrast there. Um, the wig itself is a little bit frizzy. Um, and as you can see, the length of it, it's pretty short. It's not long. And I think it goes nicely with, with just the theme. I don't think we needed such a long wig for the outfit that she's wearing, you know? So now her stock omg this stock is like so flipping cute so when you see this fabric one of the the just one of the pull-up dolls that comes to mind that it reminds me of is pull up kiyomi with the kind of like of the tool and the kind of like fishnet like um fabric but it is so beautiful i think maybe that's why i'm in love because kiyomi is my favorite pull-up so um just look at this piece here this piece let me see is this attached yes so this piece you see here, it's like a cape, is actually attached to this bow. So you tie it here with this bow. So this is like a separate piece from the stock. You could take this off if you want, but it is so beautiful. It is sparkly. We have some of that pink lacing there with the white. So pretty. It is sparkly. I just love things that sparkle. <laughs> um, and it does not come off. There's no fallout there. So beautiful and then we do have that here also on the sleeve because this is all one piece so it all there's some of it here on the sleeves as well with a little bit of ruffle just so pretty and then her I would say kind of like ballerina like dress is beautiful as well we have flower lacing here the fabric is here is cotton with the print of as you can see some flowers on it very beautiful the stock quality is awesome and then here on the skirt part which is probably is it attached yes it's actually one piece so this is a dress so this bottom part of the dress we see this these beautiful bowls again sparkly 
just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then we have cotton balls, which I love. <laughs> we have cotton balls to the bottom part of her dress. Different colors, as you could see. They're kind of squishy. Yeah, you could squeeze them. I don't know why you would, but I just wanted to try that. <laughs> and you could see the flower detailing. It's This is stitched on, so it's not going to fall off easily. Very beautiful. And then, as you could see, her arms. She has these cuffs. These cotton cuffs here, made out of, again, looks like the tool material. They're not easily, it's not something that would easily fall off. So this one is white and this one is purple. Okay, just very, very beautiful. I'll get to her face up. I haven't forgotten, y'all. I just wanted to talk about the stock and then I'll talk about the face. And then she has these really beautiful tights. They're nicely fitted, as you can see, different colors, and they're made out of a nice, durable cotton material. Her shoes, the reason why I take them off is because they don't last on. Like, come on, girl, work with me. Like, you move her a little bit, and her shoes are both off, and you're like, oh, they're a little bit too big on her. See? There you go, on camera. So her shoes are cute. They're made out of a hard plastic material with that bronze color and again one is white and one is purple and last but not least I wanted to save it to the end her face up so her face up as you could see her eyes are very different from other releases you don't see eyes like this I think this is one of the few dials that you see with different color eyes like this they're just so pretty and the reason why I want to leave it to the end is because I wanted to show you all how the top of her lid there has glitter. It is so pretty. This this face up is beautiful. The eye chips are, oh, I think it goes so nicely with this stock. They're unusual, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, from far away you might, let, might see her and be like, why does she look washed out? In person, she's not washed out. She looks beautiful. She's like a, she's a pastel doll. So if you like pastel doll um, colors, you will like this. Just very beautiful. And then again, she has like the pink part here on her um, her eyelashes. She doesn't really have any blush. No, she doesn't have any blush. And then she has a soft pink, a hint of pink on her lips. Very beautiful. And as you know, with dolls, we cannot close their eyes. We could only move them side to side. Okay, and the back. Ooh, mine is super stiff. I don't even think I can move them. Let me try this. Wow, super duper stiff. That sucks. Um, especially I would say for those that wanna, you know, want to move her eyes. Uh, maybe yours would be different. Mine is just very stiff. That mechanism. So besides that, she comes with her collector card. Look at this. It's like such a beautiful shot. Whoever took this photo, kudos to you, cause very cute. Um. So that's basically it. Does she come with anything else? No, that's it. So what are my final thoughts about Doll Pixie? I would tell you all she is one of my favorite releases, Doll releases that in a while. Like maybe, like I said, maybe it's because I like things like, I love kind, these kinds of things. I love, I love pastel. I love girly stuff. I love like unicorns, like fantasy, um, you know, like I said, I like things like this. So I absolutely love her. Do I have any cons about this doll? I have no negative or, you know, positive, you know, constructive feedback to say about this doll. Like I personally love everything about this doll from head to toe. Maybe now that I'm thinking about it, maybe there is a little bit of a thing I would say just be careful with is the butterflies. But it's not one of those things that I would tell you that that's going to tell me that's gonna, I'm going to tell you. I cannot even talk that I'm going to tell you not to buy her. No, it's not. I'm not going to deter you from that because of this. I'm actually going to tell you that if you're interested in this, doll, just be mindful of this. But I think you'll be very happy. So if you love pastel, if you like, um, like I was saying before, fantasy, fairies, I think you'll be very happy with this release. She is perfect. You could get her at pullipstyle.com. It's the best place to get her. Her price range, I cannot recall at the moment, but she is worth it. And she is actually, there's actually a pull-up counterpart of this one coming out as well. So I will, I'm going to be getting that one too and reviewing that one as well. I can't wait. And she would be a perfect companion to this release. So 
I hope I answered any questions or doubts that maybe you had. If not, please feel free to let me know. I'm sorry I'm like rambling. <laughs> I hope you all are having a great day. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you all in the next one. Okay? Bye-bye.